and happy to have with us uh, Bill's cornerback, safety, Saran Neal, trying to get his chair adjusted. Yeah. Is that chair too short for you, Saran? Well, he looked shorter than me, and nobody wants that. <laughs> Saran, what do we call you? Are you a corner? Are you a safety? A nickel corner? What? Give me the uh, designation. I'm just athletic, man. I can do whatever, <laughs> whatever they want me to do. Yeah, you know, I'm a team go. player. I go out there and just get the job. But done. it's pretty evident you are playing a different role than you played at least last year at this yeah, time, right? Yeah, yeah, I How was. do you like it? Uh, I'm actually loving it. Uh, def definitely going out there to get the opportunity to be out there with the guys and to be on the field is awesome, man. It's awesome. I just love going out there and playing now, ball. Now, you played in all 16 games last year. You played a lot of special teams, right? Mm -hmm. And like me, I, I played special teams for yeah, a long time. But yeah. <laughs> seven oh, Pro Bowls, Hall, Hall of Famer, yeah. yeah. All that aside, it was more fun mm -hmm. when you got a chance to play down and distance because you were on the field more, right? right. That's right. that's the fun part. Yeah, it's definitely a fun part. And still, right now, I still play special teams, and I go out there and you know get the job done. Special you did some teams, good stuff, and then go week. on defense and then play the down and distance. It's awesome, man. I just love it. You uh, you made a couple of tackles on special teams. One, you saved the touchdown on the punt return, the sixty-one yarder that turned into the interception, yes, save sir. points, and then you also made a touch. Uh, which you almost never see. I got to tip my hat to you. A tackle inside the 15 on a kickoff return these days is like impossible. And you got the guy from from the Giants inside the 15. Yeah. I, what did what did uh, uh, Heath say? Uh, Heath, man, he, he ever since Heath got here, he always he called me up and he was like, man, you're gonna be my guy. I right. just need you to fly down the field and blow stuff up. So right now, with all of that, my my task is right now just run down as fast as I can, try to beat the blocks and just make a tackle. That's analytics right there. <laughs> Go down the field and blow stuff up. Is it hard to, to balance special teams' work and focus and the defense because you're getting oh, no. a lot of reps on defense? No, no, it's not it's not a lot because uh, I actually. Going to going into a special team, I I, I want to carry the special teams on my back, you know, and and hold that, you know, and be responsible to go in there to get a good feel on defense, you know. If I have to go in there, I have to do that. It's something I love to do. So you got a team coming in. You guys got off to a really nice start, two and zero, a hard fought win in week one against the Jets, and then you kind of had it under control in week two, and you know they hit you in the mouth early. You responded. What is there tangible stuff you can point to after that first drive when they came out and went bang, 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 and all of a sudden you guys came off the field and said, wait, wait, what happened? Because they didn't do that anymore. Uh, it wasn't that. Uh, it just like uh, first drive came out there. We did get hit in the mouth, but we just went to the sideline and adjusted a few things and then lined back up. And, you know, the offense came back and got it to a, you know, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's exactly what we wanted. And we came out there and just get the job done. Right. One of the things that happened in the Giants game, and it was obviously set up before before the game began, but uh, yourself, Dean Marlowe, and even uh, even Kevin Johnson kind of took turns playing the nickel corner, right? What was the, what was the rotation there? What triggered the rotation? Uh, what were you looking at from the Giants that let you know who to go in? Uh, no, nah, it wasn't actually more of the rotation. We all do play nickel. It's just certain packages or whatever that we get to roll in and, and do. It's nothing really. And you did it seamlessly. There was never a, a, a there was, I couldn't see it at least from up top a, a play where it was like who's in a nickel now? No, you guys always knew who was going in. That's, yeah, we that's did. It just sound from the sideline, getting communicated, and getting adjustments from the sideline. Whoever got to go in, just go in and get the job done. This week you're coming. You finally turned your eyes forward onto the Cincinnati Bengals, mm -hmm. and you look at them. Man, they're airing it out. I mean, they've been behind. You see a lot of their passing game. They haven't been able to run it very good. Joe Mixon's been out. They've been airing it out, and they got some guys that can fly out there. What's the what's the you know the temperature of the Bengals offense? Uh, the, the Bengals offense are pretty pretty good. You know, offense. Um, they do a lot of things to get you know get you off. But the thing is, pre snap communication, get lined up, and just doing the job. Uh, basically, you know, uh, quarterback pretty good. You know, trying to get everything mixed up, but just lining up. Just, and John Ross, their guy, has, has really emerged for a lot of people. They didn't know him. He had he didn't play all that much. And with, with AJ Green being off the field right. for them, John Ross got and he can really scoot. What happens and how does it affect the mindset of you guys in the back end when you know you've got a guy that can really take the lid off? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. John Ross, he really really fast. Uh, one of the guys that actually came by ran a four two in the combine. Right. Uh, knowing no, John Ross, John Ross, I just know he's. Everybody knows he's really, really fast. But um, as a defense and as a staff, we know we just come together and, and we alert a lot of things you know, to cover a lot of right. things up. Mr. Saran, Neal, Bill's special teamer, Bill's defensive back. And Steve asked you a minute ago about Heath Farwell, how he came to you. You said he came to you in the offseason and said, you're my guy. Your production on special teams last year probably led him in that direction, right? Yeah, the team um, last year. yeah it was. Uh, I said earlier in the season, I, I had a lot on my mind, you know, coming in, you know, last from, year, yeah, coming in from a small school, sure. seeing a bigger stage, you know, it usually happened, but um, basically, 
with Coach McDermott actually taking me on his wing and just telling me certain things that I can do because he see it in to me and him, and him believing in me actually led me to go out there on special team last year and get you know do that. Is it a tough transition? We hear about it sometimes. A guy, you know, you had success in college at Jacksonville State. You're a star. You're playing defensive back. And then here it's like, hey, we, we need you to focus on special teams. Did you play many teams in college? Uh, I did early in my years, uh, probably freshman, sophomore year. Uh, but heading into my junior year, I actually came off and started just playing more nickel and corner and stuff like that. And I didn't play that much in special team, but I was on there. So I really never for- forgot about special teams. All I know is about special teams is special team win games. And that's something that I w- wanted to help do with the team. So you're getting a chance to come in. You know the defense has been playing really good. And now you know that your role is going to be expanded coming into like week two in the Giants and this week as well in Cincinnati. Do you feel an added sense of pressure? So they, because you, you know the ten guys around you have really got it together. You don't want to be the, well now they don't play as they're good because you know you know what I mean. Do you put added pressure on yourself? Because uh, so, you don't want to let those guys down as well as they're playing. Uh, I won't say it's pressure. I just say uh, I just want to just go in there confident and just have everybody trust me that I can just come in there and just get the job done. So it really was never pressure. It was just almost being ready for the task ahead and being ready for the opportunity when the opportunity comes. Serene, you played a lot. We're talking about special teams. You played a lot of defense through these first couple of weeks, right? Yes, sir. And and um, do you miss just being a safety? And do you find you have a lot more to look at now when you when you look at how you play as a nickel corner and, and all the other roles you fill? Uh, I want to say that I um, miss it. I mean, it, it was lovely being back there. Um, but the thing is, uh, with this defense, every position can be that position. You know, you got everybody playing in every position. So it really don't matter what position you're in. It's just basically just going out there and just doing what you got to do for the defense to win and get off the field. It's the nickel. They need you in run support too, right? They do. You're almost like a linebacker or something. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's, right? okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's a different attitude this year. I've got to be a little bit different for your defensive, defensive guys because you look over at the other side of the ball now this year as opposed to last year. This year, those guys are kind of getting it done. They're staying on the field. They're they're flipping the field a little bit. They're scoring some touchdowns. They gave you a lead last week. They gave you a chance to win it in the fourth quarter last week by coming back and finally getting the lead after mm-hmm. struggling a little bit. There's got to be a different feel about uh, more confidence that you're going to be a defense that maybe once in a while plays with a lead this a lead this year. Yeah, um, the offense right now, man, they're on the road, and it seems like those guys over there really have a brotherhood. And I wouldn't say those guys actually them and us actually right. coming together as mm-hmm. a team and bonding together on and off the field to get the job done on the field. We were talking on our show earlier today, Saran, uh, five of the Bills' next six games are at home. This is a good opportunity to uh, put I mean, it doesn't guarantee a win at home, but it's better to play at home, right? It's, it's a good oh, opportunity oh, to man, stack it, up some wins. It's going to be lovely at home, this first home, opening home game. I heard it was already sold out oh, yeah, Monday oh, yeah, yeah. over there, so the, the crowd going to be – Really loud, fans gonna be lovely. So just coming in there with the win, well, we're coming in there to you know get the win or whatever, and just playing in front of our home crowd is gonna be lovely. What have you told some of the rookies about what to expect playing at home? Oh, uh, it's gonna be really loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be really loud. All fans are really well, you're you on the know field crazy. Defense, yeah, it's gonna right? be really loud. So right now when we're going into the game, like I told the rookies, you're just gonna have to preach up, talk. We're gonna have to talk to each other, communicate everything to get the job done. Do you have to use? hand signals sometimes or is are you at the point now after a year in this defense can you look make some eye contact with micah or jordan or or uh you know trey or whoever's outside you can you Mm -hmm. just kind of make some eye contact and adjust that way because you you know because you can't hear sometimes out there yeah you can't hear sometimes but through the week that's when we you know do pre practice and pre-meeting and do all those things to communicate on the field when we get out you guys play music in practice when you're home do you play the music during the defensive periods uh I don't know. You don't I even hear it. I, I can't even hear it. I'll be so focused on, you know, getting my call <laughs> in the side of the head, man. It's just like you just don't hear none of that stuff. You barely – you hear the crowd, but you really ain't paying attention gotcha. to it. Right. Saran, so, thanks for this. Good, great yes, start sir. to the season. Thanks great for being season. with us here today. We Stay in one piece now, all right? I will. I will. Yes, sir. Saran <laughs> Neal, Bill's a defensive back. We're coming back with more Stephen I. It's One Bill's Live, presented by Kalina Health, and this is Buffalo Bill's Radio.